Yo, what's up guys? Today, I have a different kind of video bringing to the channel. Um, this is just a little disclaimer. This is just me reacting to, um, a video by Bread Boy Weeb. Um, how Masterdual failed to reach its potential. Um, this just popped up in my feed the other day. I kind of listened to a few little minutes of it. And damn, this boy have a beautiful voice. I, no homo, no homo. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to give a little reaction to this, give my, my thoughts on to what he's saying. Maybe he's correct. Maybe I don't believe in what he says. We'll find out. Let's go. How did a game that had the biggest streamers in the world promoting it for free fail to keep new and interested players in their game? With Master Duel... Okay, well, he is right. There was a lot of, like, great streamers playing this game. Like, just to... Like, when it came out, everyone was flocking to this game. Oh my god, this is gonna be huge. Huge, huge. And now you don't really see that many streamers play this game, except, like, the you youtubers that are doing it right now he's not wrong anyway what's i try not to pause too much unless i know like i can give some good feedback second anniversary here for this video i will break down the main issues konami overlooked and didn't care for which led to people struggling to stay in the game now to be clear this isn't a master duel hate video i love the game okay so disclaimer is just the opinions of a guy who wants the best for master duel and plays it all the time okay yes we all want what's best for master duel and we a lot of us who do complain about the game do play it all the time because we see everything that's going on game and play it all the damn time the yo, hey yo how many how much play time that's a lot of hours my guy and 11 and 11 achievements Damn, this guy just better than me. Frig. <laughs> Damn. Only my demographic does is sort of the first problem here. To start, we need to understand conflicting fan bases. Yu-Gi-Oh! probably has the most discrepancy between how the public saw the game and how it is actually played these days. Most people in their 20s who played Yu-Gi-Oh! as kids can describe a pretty similar situation. They loved the anime, you activated my epic trap card, and they lost their mind to any meme with the blue eyes white dragon in it. And for the most part, that's what the game was. But 20 years later, and the game bears no resemblance to the original product. And I'm perfectly okay with that. The game had to evolve, and I genuinely love all the new summoning types and what you can do in the game now. Here's how I would put it. Pokemon is like checkers, Magic the Gathering is like chess, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Okay, yes, I have heard that before. And just that comparison is just hilarious to me. Because, yes, I haven't played Pokemon myself, like the card game. I have played Magic, and Magic is quite, um... Intricate, difficult, I guess you could say. Um, there are some really cool plays you can make there, is, but and there is different formats, which I think makes Magic a little bit healthier than Yu-Gi-Oh. And um, what else was I going to say here? Um, Magic doesn't have like a million kinds of ways to summon. Like Yu-Gi-Oh has Fusion, Link, Xyz. Pendulum, like special summons, normal summons. Um, it, yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's a Modern Warfare 2. Have you guys ever played COD? COD is a difficult, is a fun, difficult game. But COD is awful. Like, goddamn, I don't think I've been called the N word so much in my life. Like, back in 2019. Like, that Modern Warfare. Damn, I'm pretty sure a 60-year-old called me the N-word. 100%. Wouldn't put it past it. Anyway, I'll try to stop pausing. The thing is, when Master Duel got announced, both the people who played the game at the playground and people who know what a combo spreadsheet is were both incredibly excited for the game. These two groups can never meet, because the guy who wants to use Time Wizard is going to lose his shit when his opponent flips over three floodgates and his awesome time... Okay, yes, this was a huge problem 
because a lot of people were just getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh because of this game. And yes, I was one of the people getting back into this game, but my friends gave me an Eldritch deck to play. That is what I got to play and learn the game again so I mean yes no this is a good take kind of um I know it's rough for the people who play on the playground to like come into what this game is now but you can still play like that if you want you just can't expect to win a lot or ever like the People's expectations in this game are way too high. Your pet deck isn't going to win against the best decks. You just gotta realize that, I think. Like, I just don't know. Anyway. Time Wizard doesn't matter because actually, Eldritch the Golden Lord can't be destroyed by card effects this turn. And Well then. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the, that's what I, I was playing. Thank you for bringing out, yes, Eldritch, it was pretty good in its prime. Now, it's mediocre. There's just way better decks than Eldritch now. Trust me, I know this feeling personally. Remember when you were one game away from ranking up and lost a coin flip to Eldritch stun? It was me, Barry. I flipped over skill drain IO and vanities before you had a chance to play the game! I've already made a video about the major issues with Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole where you can watch over here, so my criticisms will stick to Master Duel itself. <laughs> well, maybe that's another video we go and look at. Because yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is incredibly complex, but Master Duel did nothing to help solve the issues the game inherently has. When you first logged into Master Duel, you got a starter deck and learned the very basic rules of the game. This is good. I'm glad Konami has an avenue for complete beginners to now learn Yu-Gi-Oh. The problem is there's zero structure to take you from, okay, this is how you link summon properly, to this is how you combo in your deck properly. Like, once you're there, the game is so much fun, but Master- Okay, yes, no, no deck is going to teach you how to combo. That is something you kind of learn on your own, and I understand that it is not easy to learn. Like, yeah, this is how the Link Summoning works, this is how Fusion works, this is how Synchro and Xyz work. How do I put this? Um... It's not everything is going to get explained to you. It's also really hard for everything to be explained to you. Uh, they kind of show you different decks in the solo mode. Obviously, I know they're all pretty fucking shit. Like, there's not a good... There's, like, the first structure decks you get are terrible. A good starter, kind of. But yes, I totally understand what he's trying to get at. Like, oh my goodness, how do you combo off? Um, well, one, you're not going to learn to combo off right away. It's just about luck and learning the game. It's kind of how it is. You're going to lose a lot of your games when you first start out. And I understand that is difficult, but you have to understand, you're b new to this game, or you're just coming back, you can't, like, just be like, oh, I'm gonna win th my first game. You know what? I was lucky to win my first game, because I was playing Elflich, and I didn't know what I was doing. I did, but I didn't. Like, I knew I could do this and that with some cards, but overall... It was difficult. It was very difficult to learn. And I understand it's difficult to learn. But the more I played, the more I understood. Uh, practice takes time. You gotta take time to learn. You can't expect it to just be handed to you. That's not really how that works. But anyway, I, I think I rambled on a little too long there. Let's just... Uh, Master Duel offered no way for beginners to get a level of just competency in the competitive game at all. They left an entire audience on the table because no one at Konami wants to address the elephant in the room. 
how to get players into the competitive scene, and this is the ramifications of it. It didn't help that the game was completely bare. Okay, so the competitive scene, um, I understand that, no, they didn't, like, oh yeah, you should try to play more competitively. No, they didn't, they don't really address that a lot, or never, we should say. And a lot of people don't like playing competitive. I've heard it a lot. Like, a lot of the, my friends who play don't like playing competitive decks. Like, they just like to try to have fun. Because they find the meta is just not fun. It is all the same. It really is. It's like, oh, combo piece, combo piece, combo piece, combo piece. Look at me, all of my negates. And they do have a point, because it, it's stale. The meta is just stale. So trying to get people into something that's stale, I don't even know if Konami likes the way they're going, but I don't think they have a choice anymore. They have to keep making more powerful cards, and there will be a point where they can't. Aaron on release. Don't let all the new stuff trick you into forgetting that on release, this game was just incomplete. Dual mates were unity models with zero animation, none of the custom cards animations existed, and the only way to play the game was on the ranked ladder, which means you had to see this asshole all the time. There were also two less ranks, so players of differing skill were more congested, but the real killer was that this was all you had to play. Master Duel on release needed variation. Even for people like me, it got insanely boring as soon as we hit Plat 1. Because, for fans of the competitive game, we were just playing a format from six months ago except with some more floodgates. If only there existed a format where people that liked the slower paced old school version of the game- OH WAIT THERE IS! GOAT is everything the nostalgia audience would want, and here was a chance for people to play it online and expand it. Okay, small update, apparently Master Duel is adding GOAT for a weekend. This okay, yeah, I mean, GOAT? That's, this is another, like, topic people bring up, like, oh, why can't we just go back to GOAT format and play that? Y yes, GOAT format was fun. Sure, your nostalgia of it was fun, but there is still meta decks in that time. There is still decks that will plow through other decks. I just, like... <sighs> it, just because you think it's a little simpler, it was a very simpler time. It still was some really good decks in that time. Um, I'm not super familiar with Go Format, but I do know there was a lot of really good cards in the day. Because um, I only started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 maybe two or three years ago now. Um, I'm still learning a lot. There is so much to learn. Um, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, um, GOAT is not much better. Like, there's still gonna be a meta. There's always a meta. There's always better cards. I'm just assuming a little bit here, and that is... Might be a fair take. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, in the video, do you see this? John Yuary, 29th, that, that, that's not how you spell January. Damn, this is supposed to be English? Damn. <laughs> Look at this January important ad, it's funny. I shall spell January that way for the rest of my life. Um, yes, and I, th it was, GOAT was a for, like, not a format, an event. Um, for a week or so, but still. Still, they have to keep refreshing events and stuff like that. Um, maybe they could could add it in as like another like not like another ranked like maybe ranked goat or like maybe the hell magic the uh, the gathering arena does it like there's different. Uh, what is it? Just different game modes, like there's historic, um, modern, and etc. All that stuff. Just different formats. That's the word I'm looking for. I drew a blank, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's keep watching.
this is neat, but one, this is a critique of the game on release, and two, a weekend doesn't mean anything. We need a standard alternative to play. Just make this a normal mode, Konami, you idiots! Goat has none of the other summoning types that further complicated the game for beginners. Don't get me wrong, they would still probably lose, but... The way they lose would be so much easier for them to follow. Plus, they can play with the old band cards of their childhood without an issue. You know how sick it would be for someone who played as a kid to, nowadays in 2024, SUMMON Victory POT OF GREED! To draw three additional oh cards from my deck! And I summon POT OF GREED to draw three additional cards from my deck! Okay, this meme I've seen so many times. Like, I love it, but... I think it's overused. It is. Um, but... Um, to play GOAT... You're still going to get your ass whooped. Like, there's just no... Like, obviously, it is a lot easier to understand. I understand that. But, like, you're... The learning curve wouldn't be as big, I guess. You're right. The learning curve isn't going to be as big. But there is still a lot people can do. Like, we have the chaos monsters. Those things are insanely good back then. And if it's like pre errata, you're just getting you're the the floor mopped of it. it you're going to be dunked in the mop bucket and used as a mop. You're going to be dragged across the floor and then thrown outside because you're now just garbage. You're you've been used too much. You're going to get abused in that. And there's a reason a lot of these cards are banned. They're, they were very powerful back in their time, and no, it is not fun. Like, Delinquent Duo is a very, very strong card. Uh, <laughs> you, you're just, like, minusing two from your opponent. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> like, oh, your hand? Goodbye. And there's not a lot of cards that really are good in the graveyard back then. Especially being sent from the hand. I mean... Sending a light in a dark, banishing a light in the dark is like a meme. And Pot of Greed, Pot of Greed is just drawing too. I mean, back then, I guess it didn't do too, too much, but it is still card advantage. And we all know card advantage is great in this game. Oh, and if you're enjoying the vid right now, please like and subscribe. We're at 200 right now, and I'm trying to climb through an algorithm of Family Guy satisfying videos. Help a guy for making some classic <laughs> content. Back to the rent. Uh, yes, guys, um, give this guy a sub... Let's subscribe to this guy. Let's all do it. Subscribe. You know what? I've been enjoying the video. Let's give him a like, too. So everyone, subscribe to him. Bread Boy Weeb. He's doing a great job. I, I think he's explaining everything well, very clearly. So far, so good. Also, this is a great time for you to like and subscribe this video. So, yeah, you go do that too. You would be able to make a pack that has all of these cards in it as well, which just gives Konami more money. It's a win-win for everyone who doesn't want to just sit back and watch a Drytron combo for 50 I mean, yeah, I mean, he's right. They could profit off this. He is, he is kind of bringing up a good point. A lot of people would definitely go back to GOAT format. I'm, I, I have my, I, I'll probably try it out and play it. I've always wanted to. But like, the, the, you can't play those decks nowadays, you're just going to get swamped. I understand what he's coming from. A lot of people just want to play like how they used to. I do get it. And yes, Drytron combo is pretty tough. 15 minutes. But no, implementing a custom ban list is too much effort. They only do those all of the time. Most of the events are just a custom ban list. Yes, I know with GOAT you would need to code in priority and that could complicate things, but even if we played a weird bastardized version with no erratas, it would still be good for general variation. Plus, a lot of the code for summoning monsters and the mechanics has been refined from the last, like, 40 Yu-Gi-Oh games ever made. Surely coding in priority isn't that difficult. The game on release felt like it needed another six months in the oven. Speaking of lacking, why are there no Konami-made guides or spotlights on the decks on the game at all? I mean, this is kind of a good point. Like, there's no... Well, I don't know, I feel... I don't know how I feel about this take. Like, yes, it's a good, kind of a good take, kind of a bad take. Like, 
a guide for decks like why is there no konami that that is a lot of work man there is just so much combos and stuff that you can do with decks i just don't know like maybe they don't think it's worth their time for like a business that is so big there is other things they need to like think about but yeah um everything so far i not so bad take good takes good takes i guess this one's a little some in-game guides i don't know i understand it's like picking something up new you don't know how to play and there's no manual to actually walk you through i do understand but i don't know man Tough luck. Oh, why do I have to go to a third party just to get basic understanding of how your new cards work? This is a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole, and I'm. Um. Well, I mean, you can go to a third party, or you can throw them into a deck, test them out. In like the solo mode, like you can. Solo mode is not just for solo mode. Solo mode is there, so you can just sit there, learn your deck. That's what I do all the time. Like, I will build decks I have no idea how to play. And go into solo mode, test them out multiple times. More than once. And I know I'm not going to understand the combos at first. But you will figure it out. Like, this isn't just a card game, you know. There's some strategy to it. And things do things when you do things and things, yeah. Boom. You don't need to go to thir two third parties. Like, I I mean, these third parties know what they're doing. They're explaining the deck to you and how it works. Or, if you don't want to do that, build the deck yourself. Try to make it the way that you want it. And see how the combos work. That That's pretty much all I gotta say for that like just do your own work if you don't want to go to third parties I'm trying not to repeat too many of my points from that last video but Master Duel should have been the time Konami gave us an easier way to play the decks that were released you as a company should have the ability to explain okay I think we went over this this game is not easy like we you already addressed Pokemon is like checkers magic's like Chess and then Yu-Gi-Oh is Modern Warfare 2. I understand you want guides. Like we probably should have guides, but this game is not easy. This is like I don't know. Well, let's see what else he has to say first. What the cards you are releasing can do in a coherent manner. Surely the R and D team designing the cards has some understanding of how they're gonna combo together. Surely you can have some of them write up something about it and give players a head start. It doesn't have to be perfect and accurate. Leave the optimization to the community. But a brand new master duel player has no way of learning how to even start building a deck and what's good in it. If there was some breakdown of each secret pack that new players could watch in game to help them understand what the hell these decks can do. Okay, okay, this is a good point for new players. For new players, it will be very difficult for you to learn how to play. Um, you will have to reach out to a friend to help you with well, something new, too. And if you're not familiar with it, go to someone that is familiar with it. And, and they can teach you a bit. It's not an easy game to learn or to teach. Really not. Um... You can just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, my, my, I can hear my roommate and his girlfriend being silly. Um, they're just bullying each other, I think. <laughs> All I heard was, oh, fuck you. Uh, okay. Anyway, back to the video. Yes, this game is definitely not easy to learn. Um, difficult, difficult. Like you said, just reach out to someone. That's what I had to do. One of my friends got me into this. He's like, man, you should learn how to play. I'm like, okay, sure. Why not? I'll figure it out, right? It was difficult. I promise you. It took me a while to actually get good. I 
you're always going to make mistakes in this game. Even I even see good players make mistakes. It happens. Do, then maybe new players would be less intimidated by a pendulum card. DK'd in his website is the Okay, do not hate on pendulums. Gosh, pendulums are amazing. Leave them alone. <laughs> we'll start a petition for pendulums. Pendulums are great. Make pendulums good again, guys. Higher infrastructure that Konami should have had for their own game. He and his mods are the one doing it for you, with guides, deck profiles, and data about the cards in- Yeah, I mean, yes, Master Duel meta is where you go to for combos and guides and everything, and I understand. I understand. Konami should be doing this, but since we're doing it, they're not going to. That's the whole- that- there, as, as long as we are doing what they're not doing, there's no point for them to do it anymore. The game. Oh, thanks, Freddy Foreshadowing. DK also gets news about leaks, which I won't talk about here. I'm not trying to get in trouble, but I will say this. Konami should just maybe consider showing us some of the pack earlier. Konami in Japan does reveal archetypes and cards for the upcoming set before release. Why do they not do the same for Master Duel? Do they not understand how to build hype for an upcoming up- Uh, yes, building hype would probably help a tiny bit. At this point, it's probably not the best idea. It's still a good idea. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just trying to say, like... And I understand, we should kind of get a glimpse of what we're getting in the game. Is there something cool, cards coming out? And I know Master Duel Meta is getting, like, l leaks and stuff and showing us. Like I said, if we're doing their job for them, they're probably just not going to do it. But yes, they should be doing it. They should be. I would love for them to showcase, like, oh, this card's coming out. But these cards are already out in the TCG anyway, and we know they're eventually coming to a video game. I feel like I am talking to a child who has never looked at an ongoing piece of media. If you don't like the leaks, consider revealing some of the pack yourself to get Master Duel players excited when the Yes, if they're not happy about it, they should be doing it themselves. Just do it. Just give us a little sneak peek. Also, I kinda wanna test out TG. I don't know how good they are. I've been told they're eh, so I might not. I don't know. Interesting deck next format shifting cards are coming and yet i still have not gotten to the single greatest scourge on this game right now max c okay this is um a lot of people complain about this card i mean i even complain about this card this card is very annoying but you have to decide when someone is like maxi you have to play you, you just end your turn, or you play through it like a Chad. And obviously, you just gotta play through it like a Chad. Come on. Do not show weakness to these people. Be the Chad. Take them on. And then, and he, he even says right here, I swear I like this game. I just want Maxi gone. I mean, it is banned in the TCG for a reason. It is a really good card to draw in every deck, like special summons, insane amount. And you don't want to give your opponent the card advantage. I understand. I do. Like, I do. Like, this game is tough. It's tough. And this card is pretty much necessary to be played. Now, I don't. You don't have to play it. You don't. But if you want to win, yes. And it does help, like, slower decks get their combo pieces. Which, I see the pros and the cons of this card. It's a... I don't know. It's, it's a weird card. Let me know what you think about Maxi down below. I don't know why it's still in the game. I don't care. 
This card is a tumor, and its defenders are worse. You draw every time your opponent special summons, in a game where even the most mid-tier casual deck has to summon three to six times. Mind you, this is a game where every draw two card in existence is either banned or limited, yet this piece of shit is at three. There's no way to play around it. You either have a card that negates it, you end your turn, or you let your opponent draw a bunch of cards, which ends up killing you. Mind you, this is a game where one card can end on this. Yeah, one card can end on a huge board. That's why Maxi is there, so they don't. Plus, Axe Blossom does beat it. So, I... I don't know. It's really, it's really a tough one tough topic like i'm not going to defend maxi it's a very very powerful card but i just hear it brought up so much like i don't know yes this game is all about special summoning yes the pot cards are banned or limited to one um but for, not all just for the consistency some of them are just really good in general like extravagance is probably the worst one I think you're just drawing two car random cards off the top of your deck uh, duality you're going down to three prosperity you can go you can uh, excavate for uh, like six and um, desires, you just banish ten cards to get two cards. Desires is uh, desires is only used for like certain decks anyway. But maxi, yes, you do get a you get one card for each special summon. I don't know. I mean, I see that maxi can give you a lot of card advantage, but it's also very funny to try to play through trying to mill out your opponent's whole deck. <laughs> you can't afford to give them any draws. I have won and lost so many games off of this card alone. It feels hollow to win with, and it feels hopeless when I lose to it. This card doesn't benefit- Get good. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. I've- I think we've all been there. We all lost to Maxi. We all won because of Maxi, or, you know, it's Maxi. It's- I don't know how to talk about this topic because people get heated about this topic. It's really interesting. It's like, oh, kill this card, or no, this card is very unbalanced. Oh, world peace, man. I don't, I don't know. Benefit the game. It doesn't keep combo decks in check. Combo decks have been meta throughout Master Duel's lifetime, dude. It doesn't have much strategy. You just drop it whenever. All this card does is reduce the skill ceiling of each individual game it exists in. Konami did an event where we played with the American ban list without Max C. And all I saw were tweets saying this was the most fun and exciting way to play the game since release. And they were right. It felt like the weight of the world had fallen off my shoulders, and my actions meant more in every game I played. In Master Duel, not only do you need to run three of the Max C, you need to run three Ash, two called by, and one cross out, usually called the Max C package. I don't want a f Okay, the Max C package. Um, you don't, like I said, it. <laughs> If you want to win, like, almost every game, yes, run this. But if you want to play and have fun, you don't actually have to play this. I mean, I do recommend you use Ash. Ash is great. I don't use Crossout in any of my decks. I don't really use Maxi a whole lot of my decks. Um, Call by the Grave, just a really good card in general, anyway. Cyframe is decent as well. But... Uh, Really, it's just how you want to play. You got to decide how you want to play. You don't need the gear to decide for you. You just got to understand you might not win as much. That's all. Fourth of my deck to be instantly decided for me. In the TCG, there have been formats where Ash Blossom wasn't played a ton, but in Master Duel, you have to because you need to stop Maxi resolving or you will lose. Now, put this all together for a new player getting into Master Duel. You have to learn a textbook of information in Yu Gi Oh! on how to play, and once you play the main game mode, it's at a level you. Okay, so now we're bringing it back to new players. 
Yes, this is going to be difficult for new players. It really is. But I wasn't sure what this video was a uh, it's a potential, not new players coming in. Um, but new, new, I guess new. You, we want to reach new players. Yes, this is going to be difficult. Maxi is a really good card, and for new players, it's going to be confusing, difficult, and Ash Blossom is kind of mandatory for Maxi, but it's also good for like other draw cards, like. Ash Blossom is just a good card, and yes, there has been formats in the TCG where Ash was not played, but it's still a good card to consider. Like, it's always been a good card, and it probably always will be a good card. Like I said, it's just how you want to play. You don't need to play Ash. You should, but you don't have to. You can play the game however you want. You just got to lower the expectations. Like, if you're playing a really shitty deck, and you know you're playing a really shitty deck, you're not going to win. If you're playing a rogue deck, rogue doesn't mean it's good enough to win. It's good enough to compete. And you might steal a couple wins. You might win a couple times in a row. But you're not going to win all the time. And same with the meta, like... Sometimes they lose games. Sometimes they win a lot of games. It's it's really just how you want to play the game. You just aren't going to be prepared for most of the time. As soon as you leave Rookie or Bronze on release, you see people with stun cards and combo decks. Mind you, in the solo mode, you are fighting people who are putting up one to two interactions at most. This change is too jarring. There is no casual ladder or quick play for you to boot into when this game came out. Okay, most games don't have a casual ladder anyway. Like, I don't think there is a casual ladder in any game. Casual just means, oh, you're just going to play it for fun. Ranked means you're going to play and try to earn stuff and try to level up. There's a difference between casual and ranked. Obviously, casual is just meant for people to have fun. It's not, there's not going to be a ladder. If there was, why would anyone play ranked then? All the ranked players would just go to casual if they're, they're good decks. I mean, they still do anyway, and they bully those casuals real hard. Because I was playing casual once, and I just got stomped. Because, oh, some guy was like, oh, yeah, I'm just... He was playing Xbox, and I was playing Xbox, and he messaged me saying, oh, yeah, I'm just learning the combos for this deck, man... Man, did I ever get stomped. I, I was playing a really shitty deck for fun. But yeah, there's a reason casual doesn't have a ladder. There is, like, some good and bad stuff towards that. And even the current one doesn't work because you can't get your dailies with it, so nobody plays it. Even if you start learning the meta, a good, like, 20% of your games minimum are going to be solely decided by a single card. And even on the most casual end, all of the customization looks like it was made in an hour. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention there's this constant loading animation to every single action in the game. I was cool with it during the first month of play, but at this point, Konami, upgrade your goddamn servers. This is embarrassing. Don't get me wrong. Okay, yeah, I do have a problem with the servers. They are pretty shit. <laughs> okay, they don't run well on a lot of things. <laughs> and they load very slow. I mean, I have an old Xbox One, so it's just going to be slow in general. But uh, even some of my friends who have like newer Xboxes have this problem. The appreciation for what the game has become now is real. Oh, also, I want to point out the old mates, they're old. They could probably. They're, they're not going to look fantastic. And yes, this game was not complete when it came out. We all know this. Was it close? Eh. 50-50 there. Um, but yeah, the mates, the old mates are not good, but the newer mates, they're trying to make better. It's a learning curve. You can't expect everything to be great at all at once.
Yo, I will continue to play Master Duel, but this is why all of the big streamers don't touch this game with a 10 foot pole. They even had their mods build the decks for them, because deck building isn't intuitive. Okay, no, yes it is. A lot of big streamers don't play this game for a lot of things. One, one it's not just all these reasons. It's not that it's a difficult game or anything, it is a very difficult game. Um, yes, they probably had people build decks for them. Th this game just... are difficult. We've talked about this. It's a difficult game. We brought it up. But, it's also not everyone's cup of tea, and these big streamers probably have other games they just really want to play. But yes, I understand. I do understand that this game could have been better, could have reached more people, but maybe these streamers just don't want to play this game. Like, I don't know if that's a good, good take for this guy. I mean, maybe not. You don't know where to start without outside assistance. It feels like Konami had a chance here. To I mean, when you're learning something new, especially like a card game, um, even with Magic, I needed some outside assistance, because I didn't understand it. I had some guy teach me how to play. Um, if I want to go learn Pokemon, they do have, like, a starter deck. But it doesn't mean I'll understand the basics a little bit. Just a little bit. But I'm not going to be good. It's going to take a while to get good. I put yes. To give Yu-Gi-Oh! a cultural second wind and just blew it because they had no idea how to get anyone who was nostalgic about the game into the modern era. The power creep has made for interesting and unique formats for the people who have been following the game for all this time, but has left returning players struggling. All I can ask now is if Master Duel wants to preserve its remaining audience, just like ban Maxi, please. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a ton of fun, and I just want the matches to be determined by my play rather than a single Earth insect. Thank you all for watching. Please like like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let's try to hit 500 soon. See ya. How did- Oh, okay. So yeah, he is not wrong. Maxi does kind of take away a bit of skill, or a lot of skill, I guess. It does take away some skill. Sorry, I was kind of just sat back a little. Um, it's 500, but you got a thousand now. Good job. I'm proud of you. Really proud of you. I didn't really enjoy the video. I may not agree with all your takes. This is just my opinion. Um, overall, you did very well. I enjoyed listening to you. Um, overall, you you believe what you believe. I will believe what I believe. You're not entirely wrong. This is a really hard game for people to just learn in general. And its potential probably has... It, it's not at its peak anymore. Most games start dying down after two years anyway. Especially all these new games anyway. Actually, I haven't seen much games like... Be able to keep a good audience for a long time. It's hard. It really is. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe. This has been your boy, Saigus. And peace out.